Uh, I'm seeing irrigation equipment. You know, I'm seeing a section of a farm, and I'm seeing irrigation equipment. So who is this person who has these things? I don't know, but you'll know in the near future. Yes. So there is someone who, who is a farmer who is into irrigation. So I don't know what you'll be doing there, because I saw you there, a place which has got sprinklers. I saw sprinklers and very large fins, not the small fields that we see in the city. Yes, like an instant. Yes, so I saw you there. So what's your connection with that? I don't know, but the Holy Spirit is telling me that this kind of thing is connected to your destiny. Not now, but in the, in the near future. We see you on the land in the near future. Yes, we see you on the land. Yes. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus. So when you are thinking of uh, investments in the near future, don't, don't ignore agriculture among the things that you will invest in. Because that's where God has given you grace. And uh, your destiny helpers are there. You will then be able to enter other sectors of the economy. Yes, fr from that. Yes. Whatever little projects you will start there, we see addition and multiplication without much effort. Because when, when you are in your terrain, there is a lot of grace. But when you are out of your lane, the grace is not there. So you, you will still further your studies more and more. But when you are entering the world of business, we see you venture into farming. Yes, in the near future. You, you won't need to be always physically present. You, you just need to initiate. God will cause others to run with the vision. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I say she's your daughter. I say, Father, may you touch her life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blessed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you. Father, I thank you for your son that you are touching his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Is there a person in the family who is now using a stick to walk? Because I'm seeing a person walking and they are holding a stick. They are, they are balancing with a stick. Uh, not that I have heard of. Not that I have heard of. Because I, I'm seeing you in a certain place. First it's an urban setting. I see this person who walks using a stick. And then I see you in a rural setting. I'm seeing this person who walks using a stick. And then I'm seeing you in another setting where I'm now only seeing the stick. Mm. Yes. Okay. So yeah. there is someone who is elderly. Yes, who, in the family. I don't know whether it's in the extended family. Who is just about to depart from this life. So the Spirit of God says, it is wisdom to take care of this person. Yes. The person carries the blessing of everyone in the family. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. You, you had a dream in the past. In this dream, you were dreaming yourself with certain characters in the Old Testament. Yes. Yes. So, it, it pertains to your calling. Yes. So, I don't know what to do for a living. You are a pastor. A founding prophet, a founding pastor. Yes. Yeah. So, it's because of your calling. God Amen. was showing you Amen. 
the line of your calling. Those characters that you are seeing, mm. that's how God wants to shape you. Amen. Yes. Amen. So just follow the guidance of God. Okay. Amen. Yes. Amen. So you will see a lot of things. Mm. Um, you are in a season where you will be very, very accurate. So mm. don't allow Amen. people to praise you or okay. to hero worship you. Amen. It may grieve the spirit of God. Amen. Okay. Yes, God wants to use you. Amen. Amen. Uh, not only here or in this nation mm. alone, but also in many other places beyond this nation. I receive. So when you stay humble, you mm. will lift you and use you mm. to lift so many people up. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And there was a time when you had a deep spiritual connection to the book of Isaiah. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. So yes. whenever you read different chapters yes. in that book, you would feel a lot of anointing. <laughs> That's true. Yes. That's true. <laughs> Even if you read the pastor, true. which it passed, passage, yeah. which is just a story, yes. you would feel a lot a of lot anointing. Of, yeah, Isaiah. Yes, yeah. Isaiah, yes. Mm, so that's true. we thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So your way is open. The way could start to grow. Because uh, you were questioning yourself because of the struggles yes. that uh, you were going through. Yeah, yeah. Whether you launched ahead of time or you were supposed to launch where you launched, yeah. Yes. So the Holy Spirit says, don't entertain those questions. If God calls you, you will have to test you first. Yes. So it is done. Congratulations. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your son that you are touching his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit, for your divine holiness. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your son. I say, may you touch his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord for your divine holiness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter. I say, may you touch her life. May you touch her in amen. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, who is a teacher? Because I see a, a person writing on a, on a pot, on a chalkboard. Sorry. Who is a teacher? Sorry. I I see a person writing on a chalkboard. Teacher is my sister. It's your sister. Where is she? In, in Mashawa. She's in Mashawa. She's in Mashawa. Mm. Uh, pray for her. She's at a crossroads. So I see frustration in her heart. Yes, pray for her and encourage her and tell her to focus on God. That God will intervene in her life when she focuses on God. I was seeing light in front of her. But she was not seeing it because she was so engrossed with the current struggles that she's going through. Mm -hmm. But the light had come to show her the way to break through. She will succeed, but not through teaching. Mm -hmm. I see her do business and becoming successful. Mm -hmm. So that's what I see in the vision. Yes, and then uh, the Spirit of God says, in your prayers, don't become tired. Yes, don't become tired. Yes, just touch my hand so that uh, I can release the anointing and strength. Uh, you can come, Mom Fundis. We pray for Yes. She's gone through a lot of struggles. Yes, the Holy Spirit is comforting you. He's strengthening you. It's a new season. It's a new season. The light of God will shine upon your life. It will shine upon your life. It will shine upon your life. It will shine. Be strong, says the Spirit of the Living God. He's saying, Be strong. He's saying, Be strong. He's saying, Be strong. Don't give up. You are nearer to your breakthrough than what your mind can think or imagine. Be strong. You can remain ministering to Him. 
We thank you, Lord, for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. Just touch my hand. I see you traveling. So when you arrive home, pray for your passport. I see you travel to a faraway place. Yes, I see you take your suitcase, get into an airplane and travel. Yes, so pray for this journey that I'm seeing to be fruitful. Yes, it will be fruitful. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You are blessed. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your divine holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your divine holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, yeah, just touch my hand. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We thank you, Lord. What do you do for a living? Welting, yes. just touch my hand. We thank you, Lord, for your son. You, you read um, Psalm chapter 34 and Psalm chapter 103. Yes, Psalm chapter 34. Yes, do you know why I'm saying you must read that Psalm? I'm seeing a certain woman who almost died, who was resuscitated in hospital. She's alive. Yes, I'm seeing a woman whose condition become very critical. Yes, she was revived at the hospital. So uh, I see the challenge try to come again. Yes, I don't want to call it sickness. It's a challenge, it's an attack. So pray for this woman. Yes, we thank you, Lord. You are blessed. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are blessed. So, do you have, do you have a friend who works at a place where they serve food? Was I saw a man being framed who works at a place where they carry trays with food. Yes, I saw people carrying trays. Not some, sure. some they were wearing portines. They were wearing uniforms. So, yes. So, I if there is sure. a person who works either in a hotel or in a restaurant and is a man, pray for him. Okay, man yes. of God. Yes, the person may be fired for reasons that you may not understand. There are people who are looking to victimize him there. Okay, my yes. So, uh, with the way he is doing his work, mm. the bosses have been voicing that they want to elevate the fellow. So, some are thinking of framing him. Okay, my yes. God. So, yes. So, the way I see it, I, I'm seeing the man in a restaurant setting. It might be inside the hotel, but I'm seeing people sit at like it's a restaurant. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. And then I'm seeing documents submitted at a certain place, and then all of a sudden one of the documents is missing. S I'm such that, yes. I've got a problem. I applied for my verification last year with the Nurses Council of Zimbabwe. It hasn't come out. I went to Harare in this March. They said I must write a letter because I want to go to America, so I'm still waiting. You are still waiting. An hour ago, I called them. They said the register is not around. So I the register? Call. Yes, Renaissance Council of Zimbabwe. Yeah, just give me anointing oil. Things will work out because God is bigger than your problem. <laughs> Things will work out. Yes, whatever was holding your paperwork. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Let us stretch forth our hands to him. Things are going to work out. You, you will call. Yes, just touch my hand. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord. Yes, things are going to work out. Don't despair. God is bigger than the problem that we are facing. He allowed you to face this problem so that it can shape your faith and strengthen your faith and your resolve in Christ. 
Yes, so be strong. You will give him anointing oil. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Who is this person that I'm seeing in a vision? Who says counts? Uh, my sister. Your sister? Yes. Um, just tell her to keep her, her wallet or her purse okay. carefully, to be vigilant. Okay. With, because I see her handbag lying idly and she's, she's too trusting. Mm. So things may... There was a time when she lost some things. Yes. yes, in the past. So, just tell her that I said she must be careful. Okay. So, don't think too much. Just focus on your relationship with God. Okay. Things are going to work out. Mm. Allow God to be God in your life. Surrender your, your spiritual life and your natural life to God. Okay. We see him shape your future. All right. Yes. We thank you, Lord, for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Yes, we are done. Yes, you give me anointing oil. Yes. So... The servant of God that I'm just about to pray with is an apostle. So let us stretch forth our hands to him to, to pray for the Spirit of God is saying, I must tell you that it's a new season. Yes, he's saying it's a new season. So God is renewing your vision. He's renewing your vision. He's renewing the oil upon your life. He's sending testing the helpers. He's sending testing the helpers. He's sending testing the helpers. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new season. He's saying, I'm sending testing the helpers. The, pe the people that you didn't even know. Yes. The people that you didn't even know. He's saying, I'm sending them in this season. He's saying, yes, you will go through trials but you start to see the light of day. Things are going to work out in this season. People will come, people who have got a fresh understanding of the vision. I will bring the people who will support my vision and my work which is in your hands. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, I see... Uh, in Kweru. Uh, I saw you in a vision doing a revival in Kweru. Yes. So it will be successful. Yes. So uh, it's not only in Kweru, but there is also Mashwingo that I'm seeing in a vision. It will be successful. People will receive a lot of freedom by the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Yes. God is bringing sons and daughters we won't need to be pushed to support the work of God. You won't need to push them like wheelbarrows. They will be self-propelled by the Holy Spirit because it's, a, it's the season when God is doing his win. We will meet on um, Thursday here, on Thursday, yes, at, um, at 2 in the afternoon. Yes. Tomorrow is Thursday, yes, tomorrow at 2 in the afternoon. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. I see someone working inside a sheep. Hmm? This thing is not working. He wants to... As a nurse, so he wants to work at the cross. Uh, yes, because I saw someone working inside a ship. <laughs> you see how the Holy Spirit works. Yes. Yes, it will come to pass. Amen. Yes, it will come to pass. It will come to pass. It is done. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you, Lord, for your divine holiness. So the things that I encouraged you with that day, they will succeed. Amen. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Just touch my hand. We thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter. I say, may you touch her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter. I say, may you touch her life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let us stand in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We abide in the word of God. And the word of God abides in us. We produce good fruits for the kingdom of God. The love of God the Father. The fellowship of the Holy Spirit. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with us now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name.